Hi, my name is Jo and I'm here today with a Dollar Tree haul. I thought I would quickly film this video while I'm dressed in full colours. I'm going to try and get this video out the Wednesday before Thanksgiving so that I'm dressed appropriately for the season because after Thanksgiving it's all about the Christmas. It's all about the blacks and the reds and the greens and the whites. And so I won't be looking like this then. <laughs> this then. Um, but this is really a largely Christmas haul. I have been to my Dollar Tree, I think, two times. I go, I have one that's like walking distance from my house, like seriously five minutes away, and I go there once a weekend. That's the one thing I do. Um, I know that we're in a time when we don't really leave our houses. Well, I work from home, and literally the only place I go to is the Dollar Tree once a week. The rest of the time, um, we go on bike rides during my lunch break, I'm not around anyone, we go on walks, I'm not around anyone. My husband is currently unemployed, so he does all the grocery shopping in the week. I literally go nowhere. So that's kind of sad. The, the Dollar Tree is the, uh, the one place I'm getting to go to. And sometimes Goodwill, but I very, very rarely go places. <sighs> anyway, I do go to Dollar Tree, and so this is about two weeks worth of stuff that I brought. It is that season of crafting for me. I love crafts. I watch a lot of craft channels. If I had the patience, I would film myself crafting, but really, I, <laughs> yeah, I, hats off to all those crafters, that, those craft channels, those craft creators on YouTube that I watch because I don't have the patience to film. I wish I did, but I love crafting, and so, but really, I only love crafting at Christmas. Christmas and fall. Uh, in the summer and the spring, I do very little crafting. And so, what I'm trying to say is this is largely a craft, a craft stash replenishment haul. All right, let's start with the first thing that isn't that. Uh, I am a crocheter, I crochet blankets, I crochet gifts, I crochet a lot of things, and yarn can be expensive. I recently went to Walmart, and the red heart wool had gone up by like a dollar and they had their own brand it's mainstays brand yarn that was 250 and it used to be like 229 for the i don't remember how big it is but for the red heart and now the mainstays the walmart one is more expensive than the old the red heart used to be but now the red heart is like a dollar more it's expensive and i I guess that right now during this pandemic people are crafting so they've raised the price they were gonna raise the price it's more expensive to make I don't know I do also know that the shelves are more empty than they've ever been and I'm pretty sure that is because people are crafting anyway when I found this yarn at Dollar Tree because it was not at, at my Dollar Tree I snagged it up I don't know how much of a deal it really is because you only get um 2.11 ounces or 60 grams uh which is 120 or that's the weight 120 meters 131 yards probably not that great of a deal but it was soft and i really like the colors so i got this green color which is called juniper i got this beige color which is called it's made in turkey linen i got this yellow color that is called maize and then i got this orangey color i must have been feeling very full which is called marmalade which as an english person that warmed my heart that name um anyway that's the yarn and i have crochet thoughts in mind already for that the next time i went must have been this bag so no that was the same time the same bag i mean different bag same trip <laughs> so i brought this and it's a Santa sign and it says, what does it say? Happy holidays, covered in a massive amount of glitter. And I have brought this to do some kind of craft on the back. I have brought this not, not for this. Then I saw these boxes and I don't know what they all look like. I'll open them in just a second. But I really like this and I thought I could do a really nice craft poster with this and I have some of the green like the little green trees I thought I could make it 3d that's the one on that I brought it for let's do one on the back let's see what's let's see what else we have okay. because there are is it four 
Three. Okay, so there's one other one. If I can open it. Okay. Oh, that's funny. That. <laughs> okay. Two. Oh, I see. It's. They're gift boxes. I, this is not how I imagined. I imagine you take it out and um, it would be, I don't know, like a box that unfolded. This is literally a lid and this is the bottom. So actually there's a white card in here. You unfold it and I've never brought these before. So I guess it's a very, I mean it is a box. It's a very slender box. It's actually kind of cool like that there's actually 3d already hmm anyway that was the post the the design i brought it for i love this this is so cool look it's got the wagon and we have wagons everywhere in our house colby's toys are stored in a wagon we have wagons outside and then the back so happy with that i brought okay so i'm english and we usually have a Christmas pudding that my mom has brought over from England that we can have on Christmas, um, usually from Tesco. It's not homemade. And I saw this and I was just like, oh, Christmas pudding, I'm not gonna get this year. And it's the Buffalo Plaid check, which I love. Look at that terrible glue job. I don't know if it's gonna let you see. Do you see the terrible glue job? I will be doing something to make that look better. But apart from making that look better, I'll essentially be keeping this the same. I think that's cute. I saw these snowflakes. I thought these were adorable. And they got little bells on. Again, not sure what I'm going to do with them. One is silver and one is white iridescent. Very pretty. Then I brought some more wood planks because I'm finding that you can never have enough of these and okay that's it for crafts then I have a few things I brought for Christmas for my son I I know this is a waste of money but we do use these and it is Paw Patrol it's one of those um, flannels that you make wet and then you unfold it I know he's gonna love that and I know that he will like using it and it's a buck. It's a great stocking stuffer. And then I got this Paw Patrol coloring book, which is a pretty decent size. And the pictures inside are, you know, not bad. We love these for when we go out to eat or even at home if we're at the dinner table and Colby's like all done. We can give him a coloring book and crayons and he'll sit there and quietly color while we finish. So love, love these great stocking stuffer. And then this is for Colby, but really it's for me. <laughs> and it's this moose animal, what is it? Animal planter grow kit with vermi, vermiculite soil and mint seeds. I love moose, they are my favorite animal. And I thought, <laughs> I'll get that as a stocking stuffer for Colby, but I will get a lot of joy out of it. So there's that one. I'm not sure what it looks like inside. We can have a look. You won't mind. Dollar Tree is great for stocking stuffers. A lot of the stuff there is uh, is a bit <laughs> junky, but if you... Oh, I can't get in. But if you look around, you can find some treasures. I mean, a coloring book's a coloring book, and it's Paw Patrol, so it's something he loves. Oh, all right, we're in. Success. Okay. All right, so you get... Oh, it's so cute. I can only, I can only see the top part, and I can see it's cute. I mean, the, the paint job's a bit junky because it's, you know, Dollar Tree, but look. Hey, none of us are perfect. It's okay that she's, or he is not. It's a birthmark. <laughs> anyway, pretty decent size. Oh, here it is next to my head. Just cute, a very nice stocking stuffer for a dollar. All right, that's that trip. Okay, so today I just got back. Let's start with a gift. I brought this for my mom. So 
everyone, everyone and their mom, everyone and their gran is talking about these, the gnomes at Dollar Tree. Um, I've got a confession, right? I went to my Dollar Tree about a month and a half ago and they had tons of those gnomes and I thought they were crap. Like they were made so poorly. I would have to DIY them to the point where I'd be buying a whole bunch of stuff to make them look better. So I passed and I'm kind of, I've regretted that because ever since then, literally everyone I watch make crafts or haul Dollar Tree has been looking for those gnomes and has used those gnomes but I honestly they were garbage there was like glue everywhere they were like not padded enough I just and I a couple of years ago brought some gnomes from Goodwill for like 150 and their quality is amazing now I know that it's Goodwill it's thrifting you find it you find it you don't you don't <laughs> um Dollar Tree's like that really too though um but the Dollar Tree ones were just so garbagey. If you brought a Dollar Tree gnome and you made it look like good, can you send me a picture down below so I know what you did to make it look good and know if I should buy one if I see one in the future? Anyway, I brought this to my mom. I was going to give her a gnome and I was going to give her like the tea towel and the other mitt and make like a, a little gnome gift. My mom is in England so she will not be getting this until someone can come here or I can go there and who knows when that will be. I am not paying to ship Dollar Tree products. <laughs> this is not worth the money. But I would buy it and store it and give it to her when I see her. The reason I did not buy this until today is because, like I said, the, they didn't have the, the gnomes again and I thought, no, I won't buy it, I won't buy it, I won't buy it. But my mum loves these mugs. So I just went ahead and brought the mug and it's okay that the rest of the stuff I didn't get. They didn't have the oven mitt today, they just had the the tea towel and I thought like a mug and a tea towel is a weird gift together. So we just went with the mug. Then I brought some, well I'm going to show you as I find it, this is not organised. I was with Colby and Christmas is coming and he really loved this Matchbox truck so that's a stocking stuffer for him. To be honest he's getting a few Matchboxes, it might not be a stocking stuffer, it might be a box of Matchbox. Uh, and then what else did I get? I got these, I have been looking for these, I do not care whether they are Christmas or all year, I've been looking for these at Dollar Tree and they did not ha have not had them actually for the past month and now they've got them back. They might have had them, that might not be true. I was looking in the hardware section, which is where I usually buy, not that I buy them a lot, but where I last brought them, or I usually buy them, and these were in the Christmas section. So I just, I must have just missed them, or they weren't there, because I wasn't looking for them in that area. But today I happened to see them. I brought some, Pretty, is that what I brought? I thought I brought more. I might have brought more. I brought some burlap ribbon. I brought one that says, oh, I thought that, it is the same. I brought two that look like this. They say joy and merry and Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I thought those were nice. You get nine feet. You don't get a lot, but they're pretty and I don't live near any other craft store. And then I got this one with the holly and the berries and I thought that was really nice it doesn't say anything on it I also got let me wait for that one I got this star reef form can you see it <laughs> I have no clue what I'm doing with this but I thought it was cute and I've never seen it before and so I don't know if this is going to be holiday or this is going to be like um made into like a star for Colby's bedroom I don't know what I'm doing with this, but I knew that if I didn't grab it, it wouldn't be there anymore. I restocked on some nautical rope in the darker color. You get 9.5 feet and it's double. It's like two strands threaded to together. I brought, I have been thinking about buying this and have not brought it for so long and I knew that if I kept trying to make a decision it would be gone so I just went and brought it and it's the buffalo check bow. Our living room is buffalo check all, all year round and so I'm trying to think of what I can do with this for that room because it is, it is nice. I mean it's a plastic bow, it's not like awesome quality 
but it is cute and I'm sure I can make that work some somehow I did buy another yarn I mean another ribbon and I bought this little snowflake one Colby actually picked this I was thinking of using uh, these ribbons on the oop, on the star maybe if I make it holiday and having something dangled down the middle and then I was gonna use the thinner one for the the dangle part I don't know if I'm doing that I really don't know I finally I have been looking for this for ages finally got one of these berry garlands this is nine feet my Dollar Tree has not had the red ones they've had every color but red and I've been after this red one for so so long and uh, it was it was literally the only one in the whole store so I snagged that oh another car for Colby this one is the MBX Coastal Sea Spy. I've never, I mean, I've never seen this one at Dollar Tree, but I've not really seen much, many Matchbox. Usually they have the, what's the other one called? Matchbox and, is it Hot Wheels? Yeah, Hot Wheels. I don't usually see many Matchbox, but my store had tons of Matchbox. Wasn't that cute? He desperately wanted to open it. <laughs> It's like Christmas, Christmas. And then I'm not sure what I'm doing with this, but I picked this up. And what's in here? Okay, so I saw this. I don't know. It's a terranium planter. I have no intention of using it as a terranium planter. I'm thinking of putting some like greenery here and some fake snow inside with some like little trees. Like I said, I had. And then I love this. I've already brought this before and used it before. I thought I could maybe make like a little vacation scene inside. I don't know. Anyway, I brought this to do that. This is just a plastic, a plastic bowl. I guess I could have it hang. I'm not sure. But that, that, this is for this. And yes, this is a rebuy. Okay. Um, here's another rebuy. I brought some of the longer wood planks. My store was down to just this one pack or I would have brought more. I have an idea for student gifts. I can't decide if, so I, I work in a, in, in a very small city and there are, I think is it five, six elementary schools in this area. So the area where my students come from is a very small area. It's, we're not talking my, I mean it's miles, but we're not talking miles and miles. If I was to get on my bike, I could bike to all the places where my students live because they live in such a small area. And so I was talking to my husband about maybe delivering gifts to their houses and like on our bikes. Like I thought they would enjoy that, but I'm not sure if we're going to do that, if I can do that. It depends on what the situation is at the time. If we're in a, we're not currently in a lockdown, but it's like, but if we end up going in a lockdown, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm, I have a gift that I'm thinking of making for them. And um, these plans are probably going to work for that. I So I have them on Zoom and I've been snipping their pictures on Zoom. And I'm going to print them out and I'm going to make them like a decoration or a memory decoration where I'm going to put their picture and on the back I'm going to put like zooming in first grade 2020 because this is like an unheard of year and it'll be like a little keepsake of their time on zoom with me so I think I'm going to use these we'll see I've started that project I started snipping because obviously it's soon on the way out of the store I saw this this is crappy like this is real junky plastic um this lid just looks really bad however i thought this was adorable and i'm gonna try and glam it up and make it look better and again maybe put some trees and some snow in there who knows all right are we down to the last few yay we're down to the uh, the end of uh dollar tree anyway um oh look that one's even broken <laughs> You get what you pay for. I brought this frame. <laughs> Look, there's a sticker. Something's missing. And since I brought two, I can show you <laughs> this guy's missing. I literally brought... Look, oh, they are the same. I literally brought these to take out the back and put something in. I was thinking of maybe... I don't know if it's big enough. Or, 
No, it's not going to be big enough, but I was thinking maybe this, but I was wrong. This is much, much bigger, but maybe this, oops, <laughs> like throwing stuff around. Maybe this could go in the back of here and make some kind of decor. I've got one for me and I think I'm going to make um, a gift for a friend. We have uh, Greg and Natasha coming over for Thanksgiving and last year I made a Thanksgiving gift. I will probably make a Christmas gift this year, but I really like that giving a gift on Thanksgiving, um, especially one that I've made. It just feels a little bit special. And then la last but not least, actually this is not last, there's something else that's on the push chair. I'll go get it in just a minute. But last but not least for what's in front of me are these cards. Yes, I'm cutting it fine. It is the Saturday before Thanksgiving. I am gonna get my son on this right away so I can mail them and hopefully get them by Thanksgiving. But we brought some cards for grandparents and godparents and sisters and aunts. Well, not sisters, my sister, Colby's aunt. And uh, they say, a Thanksgiving riddle for you. Why do turkeys eat so little? Because they're always stuffed. And uh, these were 50 cents and they are by the uh, Hallmark company, but I thought that was adorable. And uh, we're gonna put, do you remember I showed you those little turkey wood cutouts? And um, what else, we have leaf cutouts. Well, I'm gonna have them paint the turkey one and the leaf one put some twine and they're hanging decorations. I'm gonna send them in the cards because they're flat and they can go in the mail. I brought those, I actually brought them out of those cards and then I needed another one for my parents. Even though they're in England, um, usually someone's here for Thanksgiving. This is our first Thanksgiving without someone from England in six years. Yes, yeah, six years. So I found this for my mom. Oops. And it's one of those across the miles cards. Colby helped me pick it. And it just says a lot. I'm not going to read it. <laughs> it's a lot inside. Um, but Colby helped me pick it. So that's the one that they're getting. And that's it for this minute. I'm just going to go grab what's on the um, push chair. You guys call it a stroller. I'll be right back. The last things I brought from Dollar Tree are these... Oops, they're all stuck in each other. What do they call them? They call them metal cone reforms. I got the big one and I got two smaller ones and I got no clue what I'm doing with these yet. But I'm really excited to, I don't know, make a mess <laughs> when I do them. I think they're cool. I really thought about buying the tinsel ones because they're already done, but then I was like, they kind of look junky and oh, I don't know. So somewhere in my house, these are gonna be displayed with, uh, oh, I should have brought another one because for Halloween next year, that would be so cool. Hmm, we'll see if they still have them. I was amazed that my Dollar Tree got these. I saw them on another haul and I was like, there's no way. And yes, yes, yes. They were hidden and so was the star one. They were really hidden at the bottom of the shelf. Okay, oops, I got this stuck in my pants. Okay, so that's Dollar Tree. Also, about my Dollar Tree, like I said, I've said before, it's not like a, it's not a high-end Dollar Tree. It's a bit of a mess. Um, they have been cleaning it up. It does look a lot better than it used to, but it's it's got cardboard boxes everywhere. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. And my Dollar Tree does not have those little, um, candle holders that everyone uses to make the tiered tray. I finally decided to make a tiered tray and I walked around that store for 20 minutes looking everywhere. We all have the candle holders. Literally everyone makes crafts with those candle stick holders. How is my Dollar Tree not carrying them? So I am on the lookout for some, some of those. All right, uh, two more places or two more things, well not two more things things from two more places. That's what I'm trying to say. I brought this bell from the catalog thrift store right next to Dollar Tree. It was 99 cents. I have no clue if this is actually a Dollar Tree one or a better quality one, but I liked it. It was one cent cheaper than it would have been at Dollar Tree. And um, I haven't seen the red one this year if it is Dollar Tree, so I went ahead and brought that. Okay, so that's it from there. 
And then, this is why I have so many trees. My husband did a fantastic free, uh, free cycle. So free cycle is a website and you go on there and you look in your area and you see what people are giving away for free. You send them an email saying, I'll come get that. And they send an email 90% of the time saying someone else is already getting it. But every now and then saying, yes, come and get it. Here's my dress. What time? Right. And you arrange it. It's just like Craigslist, but free, right? Everything's free. It's like the free section of Craigslist. So we go on free cycle a lot. My husband actually checks it every day. And this is what he got. This. And this. So I like super Im impressed. So there's not just Christmas stuff, there's uh, this flower, which if you can see my curtain right there, is the same color. So I'm not sure what I'm doing with that, but it's the exact same color. These trees, there's so many of them. These are the trees that I will be using for crafting. Like I literally, this tub has so many trees. So that's why I was very interested in the um, trees for sale. There are these Santas, which I don't know who they are by, but there's the green Santa and then there's the burgundy Santa. I don't, oh, hang on, it tells me here. Not a toy for decorative use only. Home for the Holidays presents. Um, distributed by May Department Stores. No clue. Oh, Santa's got a small tree stuck to his butt. So there's that one, there's that one, and then there's this one. Is that all the Santas? Yes, there's three decorative Santas. I think I'm just gonna put these out, but how cute are they? I think I'm gonna cut the um, the hangers off. I don't want to hang these, but they are very cute. I'm not sure what these are. These kind of freak me out a lot. Um, I don't know if I can make them into reindeer. <laughs> I don't know if I have that skill. Um, yeah. Duh. Sorry, but like, isn't this the kind of thing that like nightmares are made of or horror movies? You know, you find this toy that moves around your house and it's this mummified, tailless thing. Yeah. Okay. There's a. Ugh, it's covered in mud. This was from Family Dollar for a buck. It doesn't look as dirty. So I need to clean this, but it's just a little ornament. And there's a slightly creepy snowman. More trees and some beautiful apple and pear with glitter on. There's, I don't know what this is. That's basically everything in here. And then, let me put this all back. So it doesn't make a mess on my floor, especially that dirty one. Ugh. Okay. And then in here, we got the gold and the burgundy and the silver. And these say they were $4.99 each and they are Michaels. And then there's some that they must have used because they must not have used it. There's gold. These say they're $2 each. They're a Be Merry pick from Target. So there's this. But this is my room. Like this color. I think even with the gold, that's what this room is. Like this isn't Christmas. This is just decor. Look at all that. Oh, and there's another gold one. So excellent, excellent find. Then there are also, and I just, oh, look. I'm not going to show you all of them, but look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know what I'm doing with these, but I love them. There's a little bit of greenery in there too, which can come with the Christmas stuff, but look at that. I mean, what a find. What a find for free cycle. And another one of these. These need a little bit of love. I, I can make it work, but they need love. Someone had, um, it's a girl baby shower. I'm not pregnant, so. We will probably donate them. There's more of these. I can't get over these. These are beautiful. They're really beautiful. Okay. What's that on the bottom here? Some more greenery. And, oh, 
another pick. Oh, so pretty. Ah. All right. Anyhow, that's it. That's everything I have to share with you from Dollar Tree and that one random thrift store and free cycle. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it by giving me a thumbs up. Please write a kind comment below. Write anything you like. Tell me what, maybe tell me what you buy at Dollar Tree. Tell me what I should be on the lookout for. Let me know about those gnomes. Did I make a mistake by not buying them? Now I can't find them. That's, that's the moral of Dollar Tree. Buy it when you see it. Think about it later. It's, it's only a dollar at the time. Yeah, anyway, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to have more viewers. I'd love to have many more viewers. Um, but I thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And uh, I'll catch you in another video.